always had a uh, preference? No. What changed? I dated a white person. And what happened? He called me a colored person. Not person of color. Colored. Colored person. That's so weird though. He had a minimum of two though. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Do you have a racial preference when dating? Not necessarily, but everybody else in my life says that I do. What do they say your preference is? Anything Asian. 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 It's exclusively Asian, guys. Is there a race that you tend to date the most? I think black. It's black people. Black love all day. I noticed it when I was in grade school, but like all my crushes were Mexicans. A lot of my friends like to clown me and say that I only date white girls. I love Caucasian women. Nah, that's probably bad for the character. <laughs> Do you have a racial preference? Asian's so bad for real. I used to be strictly white music. <laughs> Anybody that knows me. Like, okay, but you know, <laughs> it's just one part Bro, of a spectrum of us. so many flavors. I've dated like every race of lady probably out there. Hispanic, Asian. White guys, white girls, guys of color, women of color. I grew up in like a predominantly Asian area. My community had a lot of Asian and African people. That's generally what I lean towards. Flavors. It's like, why would you just want one flavor? It's a blessing and difference. Uh, have you heard of the term, if she ain't foreign, she boring? I feel like you just made that up. No, no, it's it. <laughs> do you have a if she ain't foreign, you? she's boring. No. No? No. I do not. I do not. As much as I would like to say that I don't, when I made my harmony account I was definitely only trying to match with certain people it was pretty un an uncomfortable feeling why was it uncomfortable because I then I painted myself as a racist is it racist to have a preference no 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 absolutely not you can't be racist if you just want to be in your community. A lot of people are attracted to people that look like them. You like who you like I don't think you should be forced what? to like someone just because it might seem racist or not? Do you think it's racist to have racial preferences? I'd say yes, there is a problem with having a racial preference. I think if it's intentional, and it's like, I won't date any Hispanic people. I feel like that's rooted in racism. Most people, when they try to avoid a particular race, if you dig into their past, they must have gone through some bad experiences. Like I have like internalized racism and like anti-blackness and like all of these things that I have to continue to process and work through if I want to stand in solidarity with everyone in this country. Is there something wrong with having a racial preference? I think if it's a fetish, 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 yeah. then yeah, probably. True. I think that if you are looking at them in a wholly sexualized you know, fashion. You know what I don't like uh, is when people associate big dicks with black people. Like when people fetishize black people for having big dicks, man. I think that's so weird and cringy. Personally, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. And that veers into racism. Do you have a racial preference for dating? I like my black men. That contrast of that skin color, it, to me, is very erotic. Do you have a cut shit for your racial preference? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you have a racial preference when dating? No. No. I don't discriminate. People think I do, but I don't. I've never said I'll turn down someone because of their race. <laughs> I, I love don't know all watching this videos. I think they're Dude, all These videos are so <laughs> weird. I am South Indian. Do you date South Indian? It's all RNG, no. true. So you do have racial preferences. I Oh, shoot, I guess. <laughs> Do you have a racial preference when dating? I don't think that I do. <laughs> what might your dating history say? Well, listen, there's like a lot of white people that I've hooked up with, so that tells a different story. Do you have a racial preference when dating? No, but like most of the people I've dated have been white. White, white, white. White men. Caucasian. Caucasian. I do have a preference for blonde hair, blue eyed, Tom Petty ish features. <laughs> I just like haven't found another racial identity that I like have connected with on that level. My previous dating history were all white, um, tall, cis the Asian men. That's just kind of what I always just that. leaned towards and felt familiar I don't with. Know. I grew up with find a out for me really first. large like white population. Mm -hmm. It was. Who is available? And it like people make a problem a about anything or let There's so many fucking white dudes in Seattle. Like <laughs> How does the experience differ with dating outside of your race? You have the opportunity to have different perspectives than, than you may have history. otherwise been having available. What's the purpose of this vid? I don't know. Do you have a racial preference? Keep it 100. 
I actually don't know. Wait, let me see what uh peak the peaks. This is when dating. Anything but white. White chicks. No offense. It's been a series of bad luck. Anything other than white and blonde. Why is that? Okay. Being blonde is stupid. Like I don't like you because you're blonde. I think that's dumb. What has hair color got to do with anything? However, I feel like if you date a certain race and have bad experiences, then you are within your rights to be like, I'm just going to avoid that. Like, personally, dating uh, someone that's not Caribbean, it's just long. Because it's... Uh, Cultural differences, like it's possible, but it's if it ain't snowing, I ain't going, <laughs> bro. You know the cultural differences is me trying to like explain to her why we have soup on a Saturday and how we cook our soup and why we have rice and peas and jerk chicken and stuff like this on a Sunday. And, you know, having certain beliefs, not like beliefs, like uh, patterns and stuff within our family and the way we speak and the way we are raised and the way we feel. Like, if, and also like trying to explain how I've been like racially discriminated uh, by other people, by white people throwing their beer at me while I'm riding past on a bike, calling me the N-word and stuff like that. And them just not understanding. Like they can listen, but they won't understand. Um, you know, and stuff like that. So if, what is that? What is, if it ain't squinting, I ain't sprinting. Bro, if it ain't brown, I ain't going down. If it's not rice, it's not nice. Okay, you guys are cooked. Um, but yeah, there's stuff like that. But even like dating someone else that is black, there's Caribbean, uh, Dominican, African. You know, they're all different types of black people. You also have uh East Africans like Somalian and Ethiopian and stuff like that. So they're all different type of black people. Like me trying to donate, date a Somalian girl is just different. You know, we just wouldn't understand. So obviously it's easier to just stick within your Caribbean or whatever you are, like, you know, whatever you're raised in. Like, for example, Raikou is... Um, <clears throat> Raikou is Mexican, but he lives in America. So he might have a preference of white girls. But then also trying to bring a white girl home to his Mexican family, there's going to be a bit of like conflict there because uh, they won't understand certain things. Yeah, you might be westernized. So I'm just leaking all of Raikou's shit, man. I I'm just this. Okay, sorry. This is hypothetical, okay? This ain't true about Raikou. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> you know, stuff like that. Uh, for example, like Frost brought him in a core. Uh, it's mostly Asian and Hispanic girls. Yeah. I don't know. We don't. We have a lot of Asian people here, but it's. I don't think it's as much as America. So I don't know. Um, have you ever dated an Arab? No, but they bad though. Um, bro, my girlfriend's Asian. She's so bad, bro. I'm glad I'm Mexican because I love rice. <laughs> True. Um, but yeah, I don't know stuff like that. There's a lot of cultural differences. I feel like Asians and Mexicans can get along quite well. Um, however, there's, there's some differences, but there's a lot of similarities in your, uh, cultures. Like, as you get older, you start to realize it when you're younger, you're just like, bro, anything, any hole is a goal, man. Like any girl that even approaches you or comes your way, you're like, Hey, oh, that's a dub, you know, um, and stuff like that. <clears throat> You know, my girlfriend's Filipino. Uh, Filipina or Filipino? Or do you say Filipino for men, Filipina for girls? I don't know. Uh, she's a water Mexican. That makes sense. Like, uh, people from the Philippines are probably like a lot, probably similar to um, Mexicans. 
My uncle got clowned for marrying a white woman. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff in the um, Caribbean community as well. Well, not really. Uh, yeah, kind of. You get that in any community, I think. Uh, do I have a preference though? Because Spanish, pretty sure in some parts of the Philippines, people still speak Spanish. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the point of this video is. The woman, he said, if it's inter if it's international, it might be rooted in some racism. I don't get it. Uh, what this tells me is what type of community you grew up around can definitely influence who you're attracted to because it's what people you find attractive. It can change though. True. There's a difference between having a preference and drawing hard lines. I think preference... Preferences are natural and nothing to be ashamed of, but everyone has a responsibility to mature, to be mature and not irresponsible to rude with their preference being outspoken with phrases like I would never date blank or blank aren't good enough to date true aren't good to date. Sorry. Just further enforces stereotypes to create division. True. I don't deserve men of color. One interesting phrase. Bro, what? A lot of languages like Spanish give objects, genders, so there are masculine and feminine pronouns for everything. If I said, if I had said Filipino, it would have sounded like I was dating a man. True. You want to learn Spanish? No, learn French, man. French is better. So. Oh.